You all start in a tavern. I must have uttered these words countless of times over the 20 or so years that I've been running tabletop RPGs. And I still think to this day that starting your players off in a tavern or around a tavern is a pretty good way to start off any campaign. But if you've been doing it for 20 years, you might be a little bit short on inspiration for NPCs, story hooks, I don't know, monsters, encounters, or even like the bartender or the general concept of the tavern. Well... Steamforged Games has come with a solution. Hi there fellow roleplayers and game masters, my name is Mr. Tarask and today I want to do another unboxing video for two reasons. First of all, I really like doing unboxing videos, especially for products that aren't just a book, if you know what I mean. And second of all, Steamforged Games kind of just asked me. Now, full disclosure, I'm not getting paid for this. I don't have a script. There's nothing I should or should not say about this. I just said, yeah, sure, send me the stuff and I'll do an unboxing video for you as a part of a video series uh, with different content creators on different places on the internet, each unboxing a part of this product. And it will become uh, apparent what that means, a part of this product, uh, because this is, it should be, what's inside here, should be Local Legends, which is kind of like a pub crawl book book that has a bunch of ints and I don't know NPCs and monsters and all kinds of different encounters and I should have the entire book or whatever is in here and I should have the um like one of the encounters or whatever because there's different encounters all tied to the same it's gonna become apparent when I open this video. So I decided, open this video, open this box. So I decided to open this box in a just off the cuff uh, unboxing video because I really like, I really love doing those and what better tool to unbox a video than a... So, we have a box from Steamforge Games with... Now, I'm gonna say it is a very big box, but it is super light. It says Horizon Zero Dawn, Dawn the board game on here, but I'm gonna guess that's not what in, well, that's not what in here, what's in here, right? So, um, open this up, just open this up, and there is, of course, a bunch of air in here, all just packaged air, because that's, oh man. It smells it's just the cardboard the burnt cardboard just like really smells so um yeah there's basically two things in here so let's take a look there are two things in here first of all there is a miniature of a owl bear in here and a manager of some kind of wizard type, but he also has a weapon, a cycle kind of weapon, sickle kind of weapon, and it is the all bear encounter. Room, uh, everything you need to run an all bear encounter. And I see like a map. I see a little booklet, if that's if I'm not mistaken. Box contains two finely detailed miniatures, illustrated battle map, and full encounter booklet. So this is the encounter you can roll with like the main product. And there is like a main product, which is basically this. This is the main product, Local Legends, Epic Encounters, Local Legends, Tavern Kit. Uh, and this has a complete guide to running Epic Encounters, Book of 10 Amazing Taverns, 60 fully statted NPCs, 10 beautifully illustrated tavern maps, <gasps> 10 illustrated play maps, 5e compatible and can be adapted for any system suitable for all experience levels. This is actually really interesting stuff. Um, so basically there's a bunch of stuff should be in here to run tavern encounters. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to guess there's role playing encounters in here. Combat encounters in here. There's going to be menus in here. All that stuff you expect from a good tavern kit, right? Um, I find this really, really interesting. I've always loved like lore smiths um, books. Um, remarkable taverns and their drinks uh remarkable inns and their drinks sorry uh so i really like having that kind of stuff uh at my fingertips to look at this it's just like there's this food is that pizza or whatever no it's like a uh, barbecue kind of food here there is a, there was a soup kind of food bowling here there there is there is the bar there's some tables here so you immediately get a feeling of like this really special uh, inn that they've built and then there is one encounter you can probably run in and around any inn to get your players involved in the story or just have like your first i don't know encounter for your players 
Let's take a quick look at this. This is an unboxing video, not a full review yet. I might fully review this when I have a chance to use it because I'm... Yes, okay, so this is actually a pretty... Um, it feels like there is a lot in here. It feels like a proper board game kind of heavy weight to it. So, um, local legends, epic encounters. Let's open it up. So, let's open it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here it is. So, this is the, the thingy. There's nothing in here. Nothing special. You can use this to roll dice if you want. There is. I have no idea what this is, but it looks like some kind of like there's more to it. So I will look at that later. So there is this. There's just a bunch of handouts or something like that. I don't know. Uh, it looks really cool. It looks like one of good like like a board game that you roll and then you go further up the board game or something because it has numbers. I don't know. I will look into that a little bit later. And then it has a bunch of booklets. It actually has a very one hundred and 40-ish, 143 pages book that feels really good and looks really good it says MPC book Would look at that, that's actually pretty damn cool, you just have like a little booklet with all kinds of MPCs look at this and they all come with like like they all come with a stat lock or like the, the stuff you need a stat lock, they come with um, the first thing you notice Oh, cool. That's actually a cool thing to introduce a character, like the first thing you notice, which is really important to start telling a story as a GM, is giving every NPC, I do that for my NPCs, but I've never seen it feature, uh, featured in a book, just being like the first thing you notice. But I use that sentence, the first thing you notice, a lot, like for all my NPCs, because that is like the, the cue that I use to make my players remember an NPC later in the story, right? So with this is the first thing you notice is her or ornate walking cane with a curved grip. Then interaction modifiers, interaction responses, potential interaction outcomes, features, actions and reactions. So this is just a bunch of NPCs. I really like this. This is this is the kind of book that I really legitimately again, I'm this is not a sponsored video or anything, but this is the kind of book I would carry around as a game master in my bag of game mastering things and just be like yeah i need an npc quick are there tables to roll on or whatever oh there it's per it's per in so there's per, there's a lot of like ins here like the velvet dreams the drawdy rabbit <laughs> the silver purse the golden griffin club salt and kraken this is a really cool name for an in salt and kraken and then there is a list of the npcs that might or might not reside there that's really really cool i like this I like this. I really do. This is one of those books. This is going onto my like. I I can really use this pile. Even if you don't play Five E, just having NPCs at your fingertips can be really really good. Um, especially if you then later bookmark them and you can always find them again and read really quickly because uh, there's not a lot of reading to do here, which means you can figure out who they are really damn quickly. Then there is. A tavern book, which is not really big. It is only 62 pages, but it has a bunch of taverns. And I'm seeing a bunch of... There, there's a game here. There's actually rules for a mini game here called Roll It, if you can see that. I'm trying to show it to you. There is people that are or might not be in the inn. And then, for example, the silver purse. Every inn gets this thing where they have like the main features of it, some explanation of it, why it exists, how it exists, what's so, uh, what's there, uh, the specialties, uh, plot hooks, uh, apart for the game master and the art and the layout. And this is actually fucking high quality stuff. Holy shit. Um, yeah, this is really cool. And I love that these... I, I expected bigger books. I expected the, the books to be as big as this. Like A4 or USA letter size or whatever you want to call it. Um, but this is actually really cool that these books are only this big. Salt and Kraken, Kraken for example. You immediately get like... With these this artwork, you immediately get like a vibe of the, of the inn. And how to use it. This, this looks... 
to me, looks and feels really like Remarkable Ends in Their Dreams by Loresmith, but like the 2.0 version of it. Um, I have nothing against Remarkable Ends in Their Dreams. It's a great book. It's somewhere there. Uh, 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 but yeah, now we're five, six years later than that book. There's a 2.0 version. That's how. It, that's what it feels. I might really review this on my channel. Holy shit, this is really cool. Um, and Encounters. Encounters book. Encounters book. I almost read over that. So there's a bunch of encounters here. Look at this art. Look. Look at that. Just wow. So there's a bunch of encounters in here. Local Legends. Uh, Steamforge Games team. I really like this board game esque Machiavelli kind of artwork, if that makes any sense. Um, wow. So, this is an unboxing. If you have this product or you know about this product or whatever, and you see me missing about some stuff, put that in the comments because I, I'm getting the feeling I want to review this. So, I, uh, I might want to know, right? Um, introduction, running an awesome tavern encounters. There's a GM tips in here. Exterior setup. Step two, interior setup. Step three, forge crown mystery. Hand action players. Incidents. There's incident tables here. Yeah. So we have three books already, right? Three little booklets that together are like one big thing. So we have these. We have the uh, encounter book. The tavern book with all kinds of different taverns your players can uh, find. Which is this is not something I would like carry around per se because once I have a uh, a tavern in mind that my players might run into, I don't need the book anymore, right? Um, it's different from like NPCs having NPCs around and just flipping open a book and picking a random NPC uh, or semi-random picking an NPC can become really, 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 really handy. So great stuff. There's plastic in here. Don't know why that is, but okay. There is something. I don't know what this is. And then there is a card deck. There is a card deck. The first thing you notice. Is this the first thing you notice, card deck? What? I want to look at that first. I want to look at that first. The first thing you notice. So... Like, people really love these card decks, don't they? I mean, I see a lot of people, a lot of products coming with these cards. And they always sell, like, really cool to... Yeah, this is all kinds of the first thing you notice. And they're color-coded, I guess, per tavern. What, you just pick a card? Pick a card, any card. And then you just, like, first thing you notice is a skull like no other. A strange glowing talisman in his hand. The first thing you notice about this person is a strange glowing talisman in his hand. Bam. There's... The picture, the bigger picture. You can give this to the players and be like, bam, here he is. This is what he looks like. And there's the first thing you notice is on the back. The first thing you notice, the first thing you notice, the first thing you notice. But I also saw that there are a few cards that have mini game golly gnome. So there is actually a mini card game in here. There's a mini card game in here. Probably the rules are explained somewhere in one of these books. Probably in the uh, in in the tavern book. So there's a mini card game. And then there is the first thing you notice. Every NPC probably has his own cards. Um, all of these NPCs are... I'm just showing this to you. All of these NPCs are with their artwork on here. So you can hand those out to the players. And they can have like this... Um, yeah, just like... This collection of people they've met in the past and they can... Uh, the first thing you notice is... It's, like I said, it's a good way to like give your players that cue in their brain of like... Oh, it was that person because it was the person with the really weird walking stick. Or it was the person with like the beard on one side of his face or something like that. Something weird, the first thing you notice, right? Great stuff. Great stuff. Oh my god. Okay, we have another thing. We have another thing. I don't know what this is, so I'm gonna just open it really quickly. And... <clears throat> These are... I don't know. Interior. This is a tavern. Do all of the taverns in here have... 
Oh my god, all, all of these taverns have like this poster and then like a poster of the interior. Like, not a map, like literally just a... Yeah, you could place, actually place your, your miniature on here. It's not really a map, it's more like a 3D environment, but you could still... You, if you put it like this, you can still put your miniature somewhere, which is actually a really great combination. Wow, do all of these... There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in here. And there's ten taverns in that tavern book. That's great. Let's just pick another random one. Look at this one. Ooh, dark and mysterious. Uh, like this. Look at that. And then, bam, you have the interior. Ain't that something. Ain't that something. God damn it, man. That is... This is great proper game. This is... I want to say game design. Um, I'm not that far yet. But this is proper, proper product design. This is proper... Everything feels like it's one big thing. Everything feels like the people who've worked on this were really on one line. They really were like, we're creating the same thing. We're not like, you're doing this and I'm doing that. Like you sometimes have in video games where just stuff doesn't really add up, right? Um, holy shit, there's more. Uh, I, by the way, I have no idea uh, per recording of this video what all of this stuff costs. Link will be in the description below and I will know when I post that link, but I just forgot to check that out. So you might have to check that out for yourself. There is, it's probably a game, I don't know, there's this, there is this, I guess these are all player handouts, somewhere or another, or mini games, I have to figure that out, if you know what these are, put that in the description below, uh, put that in the comments below, because I have no idea what these are, but I, I don't want to like grab all the time of this video in order to figure it out. So you get this. That's the way I understand it. You get this and you get all the stuff that I just unboxed, right? A bunch of taverns, a bunch of NPCs, a bunch of story hooks, a bunch of potential encounters, a bunch of stuff. Now, for all of the encounters that they talk about, they've built a set, a set, a uh, encounter kit. And this is for the all bear encounter. Uh, so they just t asked me like, oh, there's three encounters still left for you to potentially uh, unbox. What, which one did you do? I just did. Which one do you want to do? I just saw the word all bear and I just immediately said all bear um, because all bear, right? So again, this is just a oh, man. This all feels so fucking good. It's it's amazing. It is really, 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 really amazing. Um, so yeah. There is two miniatures in here. There are two miniatures in here. And then there are... You know, I don't want to be the one complaining or anything. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna complain. Because I'm a review channel. And I should complain. There's one thing I miss about this. There's one thing that would have made this... It's already really, really... Looks really, really great. I haven't read like the text. Maybe it's like full of spelling errors and kind of sucks, but it probably won't because Steam Forge Games kind of creates really good uh, stuff. I'm just missing a set of dice. A set of dice would have really, really, really been the cherry on top. I have enough dice. I don't need more dice. I have like this amount of dice, like a pile. But just when you do like this full feature thing with like the miniatures and everything, I don't know. It feels like like a set of dice would have been really cool. So, uh, ooh, this is heavy. This is actually heavy. There's an all bear in here, which you can paint. There's some painting channels, if I uh, understand it correctly, that have done some for this stuff. And then there is a... Probably he's control. He's the person who controls the all bear. I don't know. Um, so, two miniatures. This one feels really heavy. I'm not used to it being so heavy. And the heaviness... Does not come from like this. It comes from the... I, I don't know. It feels like they've used some really sturdy material for that. Uh, it comes with a map. I think. A map of a river. Shaped like a... River. Um, and then there is the... 
Owlbear Mini Encounter Booklet, which is a booklet. It's not big, but it's just like the encounter. Introduction, before starting, four tiers of play, what you should use as damage die, which is always great to have. Uh, D4 for tier 1, D8 for tier 2, and D10 for anything higher than... Uh, uh, so, tier, two and, uh, tier 3 and up. Local Legends, The Truth, so... The Nodding Dragon. Oh, so this, this encounter is for the inn. The Nodding Dragon. Which, by, by the way, the inn of the cover. Um, so there's the Nodding Dragon. And the dragon is like also the furnace where they cook the food. Which I think is really great. So they cook the food in here. And it's it's a dragon-shaped thing. So it all comes together. So the old bear encounter is part of that. There's a map. They explain everything here. That's... Okay. Seriously. St Steamforged. I don't know, I don't know. Um, this looks really, really, really good. I'm gonna quickly summarize what is in here. So, in the small package, we have a set of miniatures. W miniatures, we have an encounter booklet, right? And we have a map. So this is a miniature encounter booklet map kind of thing that you can just, you can use this, slap this on the table and just play an encounter in the in and around or around the Nodding Dragon, which is one of the encounters in the main box. In the main box are a bunch of what I guess are player handouts. There is a freaking card deck that has a first thing you notice NPC card uh, cards, which is really good. It's, good. it's the art of every NPC and the first thing you notice kind of thing. There is a mini card game in here which is separate from all the other cards there is a freaking gorgeous artwork front and back of every in 10 10 10 freaking gorgeous big poster maps with like the exterior and the interior of the inn there is an npc book that 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 is just one of those things that you just want to put like inside of your jacket and be like oh I have something for that, right? There is a tavern book with all of the taverns, information, everything you need. And there is a freaking... Sorry. There is a freaking encounter book. <sighs> yeah. Um. I don't know what to say. Again, I'm not getting sponsored by this. I'm not trying to gain favors with any company or whatever. Like, legitimately. Um, but this is just absolutely feels apps like absolute quality i don't know if anybody in here has has this and has anything to say about it in the comments below put that in the comments below if you do because i really want to know because i feel like this is really worth giving a proper read and a proper review um if you are interested in it, click the link in the description below. If you're not, don't click the link in the description below and go skiing or snowboarding or, 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 or I don't know, uh, playing a game of chess. And until next video, bye-bye.